there are types of projects that actually test uh, two different samples, let's say, for uh, the number of successes or the number of failures, or even say the number of defective parts, or the number of people who say yes in one sample versus another sample. Uh, and that's what this is focused on. This is developing a confidence interval around the difference between the proportions between, say, trial one and trial two. So here we have an example of success rate between two trials. We have a list of successes and failures in trial one and successes and failures in trial two, where success is listed as a one and failure is listed as a zero. There are 300 observations in this list. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the formulas over to the right to calculate the confidence interval of the difference between the proportions. So we're going to require the difference between the two proportion successes, a Z multiple, and a standard error of the difference between those proportions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to calculate the number of successes in trial one. And we could do that by using either the count or because these are ones and zeros, I can, we can use the sum. So we've chosen to use the sum of the entire column here. The number of successes in trial two is given by doing the same thing for column two. So the total number of observations will be given by doing the count of both columns. We get 300. Now our proportion of success in trial one is actually going to be 168 divided by 300, which gives us 0.56. So we have a 56% uh, proportion of success in trial one. And we have a 64% uh, probability of success or proportion of success in trial two. So we subtract the two to get our difference between the proportions, which in this case is negative 0.08, meaning that the second sample is higher than the first sample. Now we'll calculate our Z multiple. Again, we're looking for a 95% confidence interval. So this is get, that's going to be equivalent to the norm.s.inv of 0.975, and that will give us the value at which 97% of the curve is underneath it giving us our 95% confidence interval. And you can see that this is equivalent to around 1.96. So we will now need to calculate the standard error of the proportion difference. However, in order to do that, we're going to need to use this formula once again. And the formula for the standard error of the proportion is the square root of the success proportion in sample 1 times 1 minus the success proportion in sample one divided by the number of observations in sample one. And we add to that the success proportion in sample two times one minus the success proportion in sample two divided by the number of observations in sample two. So once we have that, we have our 300 observations for sample one, our 300 observations in sample two, our P1 hat is basically the 0.56 from above and 0.64 for p2 hat. Our standard error, we take that formula that we had before and we plug it into Excel like so. And that gives us 0.04 and that's our standard error. We can then use the formula for the confidence interval, taking the difference between the two p hats, p1 hat minus p2 hat, plus or minus our z multiple, which we calculated as 1.96, and we multiply that by the standard error that we had found before. In doing so, we obtain the confidence interval of negative 0.02 and negative 0.158. So our limit is going to be negative, one, negative 0.158 to negative 0.002.